Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So Bitcoin isn't really moving too much, but it's currently dipping a little bit. That has an effect on other coins as well. So we see a little bit of red today in the market. Um, typical weekend, quiet, all right? Um, you sometimes get busy weekends, but this weekend has been quiet after last week was really, really impulsive, really, really lot of events and a lot of price action as well. Um, gives me at least a space to breathe a little bit. Um, but of course, it was a very busy week for me as well. So I'm actually quite happy that we have a bit of a quiet weekend. But soon it could start to do something again, because at the moment we've been, well, we have at least been moving in a triangle. Made you aware of this triangle. This triangle broke, most likely. So we take a look at that. Um, it's not really confirmed yet, but we, we take a look at that. And um, yeah, so Bitcoin yesterday broke out of this descending channel to the upside. However, it failed to create an impulsive move from that. Um, also here this, well, the triangle which, which broke, it you could argue it did create an impulsive move. We are currently heading down, but we need to see if it's now following through on that. So let's actually zoom in, take a look and revise the triangle count because this is not valid any longer. So let's take a look at why. So as you said, we've got, or as I said, <laughs> we've got two different counts here. We've got the red count, which is sort of a possible breakout count. This is not high probability. Um, so it's nothing that I would really be confident in saying where I would be saying, right, we had five waves up, we had three waves down. This is most likely to go up. I, I can't really say that because um, the five waves up were not ideal as explained in previous videos. They weren't ideal, the wave five was too short, the wave three was too short. You have five waves, yes, and in the, in a, let's say, a traditional interpretation, you would say, okay, we had five waves up, the trend has most likely changed. We had three waves down, we are holding support, so it's most likely to go up. And we can, we can follow that interpretation, you just need to understand that at this stage, it is not high probability yet. Also, if I look at other coins, some of them have only made three waves up. So we need to be ready for more downside. And that's why I've got the green count on the chart. The green count is what goes live and will be in full control if we drop below the yellow support box. So that means if we go below the 16,160 level, which is the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement, then the green count will get into force. And the green count would take us down into the region between 14 and 15K, where we then have another chance to bottom out and give another go to reverse and maybe put a new bullish structure in place to end the bear market. But at the moment, this is just sliding down and not very convincing yet, especially because of this sideways movement. Um, I mean, at the moment we're holding the 61.8% FIB level, so we are holding the golden ratio, but it looks like we're going to break it and actually we are doing it right now. And then the next support would be at 16,170. And if we break that level, then the green count is in full control. Um, at the moment, we can still follow, let's say, the red count. But as, as long as you know that at 16,170, things are going to turn around most likely to the downside. So I think with a triangle, I also have to take the triangle out. I think it was a triangle. I think it is a triangle. But we may have to look at it differently um, like we did for Ethereum the Ethereum chart is slightly different. Um, so let me, let me, let me, let me do that. Um, because with the Ethereum chart, we said, yeah, we had an ABC down, but the C wave, there was no guarantee the C wave was done. Bec here, however, we, we were in the support area for a bit longer. That's why it was more likely it was done. But in this ABC within a wave two, before we move up in a wave three, um, we could say that this here was only a triangle. So yes, it was a triangle, but it was a triangle of the B wave. Not ideal, but let's take a look how that would look like. And that would also explain the move down. So we could say that we had here an A, B, C, D, E, and then we came down from here. And that would give us a target. I can give you a target for that as well. Let's see. So for the target, we take the length of the B wave and we add it to the high of the wave E that would take us to 16,190. So very close to the key support here because we broke below the D wave low. The B wave low break would be a confirmation of the break of the triangle because in the in theory, 
this could become a very, very long triangle. But this move down is now quite impulsive. So it actually confirms the idea that this could be a C wave still, right? Um, but yeah, let's see. I think the key is more important than now really get hung up on the sub wave counts um, because there are numerous interpretations. Key is to understand where do we actually stop and do we really stop at the 78.6 retrace? If we don't, then we will get this fifth wave down. I already mentioned in the previous videos that we were still below resistance for wave four. And as we were still below resistance for wave four, it actually um, yeah, still keeps the possibilities open for another sell-off in the fifth wave. Let's see if we get that today, maybe even. Um, at least we see here a little bit of movement after yesterday's boring sideways action. But you know, what, what, you know, I said, if you get into this apex of these triangles, it's a bit like a spring that gets compressed and then you see some kind of impulsive action afterwards and we come down now quite impulsively, but we don't see a lot of volume, but it's weekend. So you can also move something with less volume. Um, and in this case, the chart decided to go down, but we're still in the wider support box for wave two. So we still have a chance to turn around above the 16,170 level. Okay, and that's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.